an app for vendors. So I'm gonna go to powerapps.com and what I'd like to do is go to apps and I wanna create a new app. And this connection here is very similar to the connection to Power BI. It's your web services URL for OData, company name and username and password. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create an app here and I'm gonna use my connection to Dynamics NAV. And then once I connect here, it lists all the various web services that I've published in the application. So I wanna scroll down to the bottom here to the vendor card. Let's select the vendor card. Let's click connect. It might take a second here to get things ready to build the app. It's gonna build the app a list of vendors. If I click on one of those vendors, it'll give me card detail. And then if I wanna edit, there's another screen it creates for edit capabilities. And what I want to show you here is how you actually can modify these screens based upon the template getting created. So as we look at the vendor card here, we can see the vendor number. And what we can do is select the browse gallery here, for example. Let's go ahead and select that. And if I come over here and click on data, with this created template, there's basically three fields. There's the block field, the name field, and the number field. What I'd like to do is put my customer name up on top where it's bolded. So I can select here to get a list of my customers. I can select the name. And I want to put, say, the contact name here in the subtitle. And just go up a little bit here and grab the contact name. Here's the contact. And then on the bottom here, we'll just go ahead and put in the number field. We've got the blocked right now. So I can select this and search for the field that I want to put in. I also could add additional fields on here as well. But you can see this really doesn't take a lot of programming to set this up. And so that takes care of the actual top level. Then you can do the same thing for the detailed form here. If I went down to the detailed form, and this is when I click on the list and I get into the edit function. This is a display form on there, and I had the same capabilities here. So, for example, if I want to take things off, I just have to simply double click. I don't want to see the search name. I don't care about seeing the block field. But I would like to see the phone number and the contact name. And I can do the same thing I did before. So let's just put the contact on there, and then I can add the phone number. There we go. And then once I've added those, if I scroll back to the top of the list, I can then resequence them in the sequence that I want. So let's say after the company name, I'd like to have the contact name right there. I'd like to have the phone number after that. You basically get the idea. I can close this then. And then let's save it. So let's do a save. And we'll call this the app. This is a vendor maintenance. And then save. Save this to Power Apps. We'll go back and then we'll actually take a look at running the app. So let's run back here. Actually, within Power Apps at any time, you can come up here to the screen and click preview. And this is actually now running the app. So let's go back. Look at the list here. You can see my various vendors, the information I've put in. If I wanted to add a new vendor, for example, I could just click here. Let's see, vendor one. And then I did update the edit form. That's why the fields aren't exactly the same. But we just go ahead and click this, and that'll add vendor one. And if I resort the vendors, this is just a resort. It adds vendor one right here. You can see I added that vendor with the card. So that gives you a little introduction of how to use Power Apps to very easily create ability to view data as well as to enter data into the application.
Mm-hmm.